So Avery was uh, was running a little bit uh, yeah, today. Yeah, it's good to see him back out there getting some conditioning. He passed all his, uh, his testing um, and actually passed it very well. And, you know, he was, uh, you know, kind of ahead of where, where they thought he would be. So that part's good. It's good to get him back out here in condition and, you know, continue to go on, uh, undergo a lot of tests to make sure that he's ready to go. But he uh, feels better, and it's good to see him back. At what point do you need someone to start practicing before they're able to start playing a lot? Well, a guy like Scarlett or Maurice Harris, do they have to start practicing Monday to be? Yeah, to yeah. Go? I mean, they're going to need they're going to need to start getting in. Yeah, I mean, the thing of both of them have been out here practicing, so it's different because yeah. they just haven't been full contact. And so it's been it's been different. I mean, it's if a guy's got a hamstring and can't practice, I mean, he needs he needs to get in and get as many reps as he can. Their situation is a little different based on you know, the fact that they have been practicing and just haven't been full contact. So when you say you pass the tests, uh, does that mean that like the first concussion protocol? Or? Yeah, yeah. There's uh, there's impact testing that we do uh, where they take a baseline and then they stress them and you know, do all these different tests. And he's he's passed all those with flying colors. So now it's just a matter of days that you kind of yeah, and, and they'll and they'll continue to to test him and make sure. And he's got some more. Doctor said he'll get cleared through, and I mean it's a process, but he's, he's going through it. Looks like Z was in a boot today. Yeah, he's got an ankle. I mean, I thought he would practice today. It's, he's just has been a little bit slow to come back. I mean, I thought he'd be back today. I don't know. I would anticipate him tomorrow. Looks like Willis got in there and got some reps. Yeah, yeah, now. Willis got in there, got some reps. He's a little uh, a little behind, but he's a good athlete. He'll get caught up, and we think he can help us. So that's why he's there. Uh, corner nickel. Uh, corner, corner right now. You know, I think that. Uh, Potentially could become nickel, but you want to train him in one position, get him comfortable, and then before you start moving him around. Okay. Uh, what was Hunter. wrong with Jason Gibson today? Uh, he's got an ankle as well. I'm not looking to see anything major. Um, same thing. Well, I think I would, uh, hamstring actually. Excuse me, I said, I said ankle, hamstring. I, we would expect him back. You know, I thought he, like I said, I kind of thought he'd be out back out today. Uh, you thought Scarlett was going to be out or was going to be back today. What What was the the verdict from his? Yeah, doctor? just still, still kind of waiting to get cleared. You know, I think that's that's. You know, what we're going to be waiting on is, is for the doctor to sign off. And did say he go to the doctor to today or not? Uh, he did. He did. So we didn't get cleared today. We'll continue to, to get him back and, and see see how it goes. Would he be able to play on the 31st if he doesn't practice for at least a week or Yeah, we so? were talking a little bit about that. Uh, I think I think he probably could because he's done everything but non-contact. And so, you know, it's, if it's different with a guy coming off of an injury that hasn't practiced or participated right. at all. So the fact that he's in condition, the fact that he knows – you know, knows what's going on. He just hasn't been contact. Um, you know, I think would allow him to probably come back faster. Talking about a 10-month-old injury originally, how much better can he get in a week or two? You know, I don't know. I mean, that's you know, I just kind of they tell me they tell me he's cleared or he's not cleared. Yeah. You know, if he's not cleared, we don't have him, and if he's cleared, we have him. He's like the DN spot without him there on both sides has been a little unsettled would that be the, the no, right I, I don't, to... no I don't think so I think it's I think it's good I mean we got we, we have five or six guys that are competing and so right now I don't think anybody has significantly um, distanced himself from anybody else which is good I mean I think they're all playing pretty well um, you know I think that's going to be a position of strength for us and you know we're going to play with with five or six different guys because we think they all do something different and, and give us something so is McCain on the other side now some yeah yeah he's, he's going to work both sides I mean he'll he's you know, probably going to be on the on the defense's right more, uh, or actually on the defense's left more, but he'll work both sides. Is so Moala making a push right now to, to start over Julio? I mean, they're, they're going to compete. I mean, they'll both play. I mean, it doesn't matter who goes out there first. They're going to they're going to both play and, um, you know, and, and see significant playing time. So he so like, was out there more with the ones today. Yeah, like I said, I mean, it's, you know, I mean, it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't matter. I mean, it's kind of like the receivers. I mean, the D-line the D positions are going to, you know, those guys are going to roll, and, and the backup's probably going to play just as much as the starters do. Maybe you were asked this already, Sebastian doing some wind sprints and some stairs. So he's, yeah, yeah, he's starting, starting to come the back. Process. Yeah, starting the process, and, and, you know, he looks good, and, you know, we're going to continue just to follow up and, and make sure that he, you know, clears the, the protocol. This far into camp, can you talk a little bit about the tempo? I mean, the guys are probably pretty run down. It seems like a lot of them have little nicks. Here yeah, there. yeah. I mean, just, you know, uh, I mean, it's, it's everybody. I mean, I read, I think the other day, USC had 27 guys out. You know, I would say we're 20 guys better than that. <laughs> you know, I mean, so, I mean, I, I don't know. I think that's just the nature of, of camp in, in this time of year. You don't so, seem terribly concerned about it. There's no. a lot of stuff you expect to be cleared up in a week and a half. Yes. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm not. I'm not that concerned about it. Yet, but, but, I mean, I think that we'll have, you know, the guys that we need, and, and um, you know, I'm, I'm 
disappointed about Bruce Hart. I mean, that's the one that, that you know, he's the one that's going to be a, a year-long process, and he was really starting to play well and come into his own, but uh, the rest of them, I, I anticipate to be back. Forbes and Ford starting to come along. Yeah, on. much more. I thought, I thought Ford especially did some good things today, looked like his old self. Um, yeah, I think just gets more and more comfortable every day. Yeah, Forbes running with the twos at times. Yeah, yeah, same just deal. Just I mean, been out there. Yeah, just hadn't been out there, just trying to get caught up. Do you anticipate putting out a depth chart sometime soon? Kyle, are we going to put out a depth chart soon? Your feet hurt? Are we're we going to talk about yeah. it. Yeah. By the end of the week, probably. Yeah, we'll put one out by the end of the week. Isn't that question supposed to be the other, the other way around? I mean, I'm, I mean, like I said, I don't, I don't even know what the depth chart is. I mean, it's, it doesn't matter. You know, the way we practice, we roll the guys through, and then, as I said, a lot of times the, the guy that starts the game plays less than the guy that comes in. It's just, you know, depending on the position. I mean, offensive linemen typically are going to play, but our running backs, receivers, DBs, um, you know, we'll, DBs will stay pretty consistent, you know, and then the linebacker will roll some guys through, and especially on the D-line. A lot of different guys will play. How healthy is Tyndall, and if he gets healthy enough to play, would you consider making a change there at right tackle? You know, he's competing right now for a job, um, and so he'll continue to do that. And he's he's practicing. He's back. I, I wouldn't say he's 100% back yet. Uh, he's close. Uh, you know, he's rusty. Uh, Moore has played so well that, that he deserves to be the starter right now, and, and you know, Tyndall's going to have to compete and see what happens. How do you prepare for Northwestern the fact that they use two quarterbacks? You've got you got Austin out there playing quarterback on your scout team, but does he yeah. have to play both styles? Or? Yeah, it's different. I mean, they've got certain plays, obviously, they run with one, and certainly certain plays they run with the other. And so, you know, it's a, it's a different mentality in there, depending on who the guy is. And so, you know, it's it's hard to prepare for that. I mean, that's that puts a lot of stress on you because, you know, they can run a lot of the option game when they've got the runner in, and they're a little bit more of a, of a traditional offense with, with the guy that throws the ball more. So. The starter is the kind of the combo guy, right? Yeah, yeah, and he can play receiver. I mean, he's a good athlete. He plays a lot of different positions. Are they, do they split that pretty evenly 50-50, or does it depend on circumstance? It depends or? on circumstance, game to game, kind of what's going on.